Hello my dear friends and welcome to the second video tutorial on how to paint the decent board game. Today we will paint wizards, skeletors, wolves and werewolves. Before I begin, I'd like to repeat that the paint job here is tabletop quality, meaning that is a medium quality of painting but perfect for game. We begin with the wolves. I base coat them with leather brown. In the process we will divide them in pairs and paint them different colors so we won't have all six wolves looking the same. Using Charles Brown we will create the first shadows mainly on their bellies. Using black we will create the darker shadows. On the last two wolves we will use black on their backs too so they will look darker than the rest. The next two wolves will be painted with beastie brown and we will use the same color to brighten the others a bit. Now Kaki to paint the last two wolves. Using wolf grey we will create the brighter parts. It might look too intense when you apply it but after it dries out it will look fine. After all the colors are dry, we will apply brown and black wash to all the wolves. Don't be afraid to use enough wash, thinking that they will start to look darker. After a while, they will go back looking as they were before the wash. Using US flat brown, we dry brush the wolves and lighten the darker ones. We will continue with sand yellow and dry brush again for the lighter colored wolves. Now using ivory but in a quite thick state we will paint the details on the eyes and the teeth. In a contrary, we will use highly diluted black for the pupils and the details around the eyes. We will use Insignia Blue as a base coat for the nails and then we will apply Wolf Grey to highlight them. Finally, we paint the bases black and check out the results. Let's move on to the werewolves. They will also be painted by pairs too, so they will look different. We start with dwarf skin. For the next two we will use elf skin tone with tan and the last two will be painted with dead flesh. And now with beastie brown we will paint their hair. I use charged brown for the leather skirt like clothing which I don't know what it's called. I used bone white for the bandages and the doll that is attached on the leather skirt thing which I still don't know what it's called. Ok, if anyone knows the name of this piece of clothing, please leave a comment so the rest of us will know too. Time for washes. We apply sepia wash mostly on the light parts while on the rest like the hairs we apply brown wash. On the half of the werewolves, instead of sepia wash, we will apply flesh wash to create darker skin. Dry brushing with radom tan, we will create the lighter shadows on the hairs and the faces of the light color werewolves. I 
ivory for the eyes and the teeth, and diluted black for the pupils and around the eyes. And yes, I totally forgot to record the werewolves before handing them over to their owner. We are moving on to the skeletors. For my convenience, I primed all the skeletors with bone white primer. I painted all the leather and the wooden parts with beast brown. The skeletors will also be painted in pairs so they will look different. So the first two are painted with goblin green. The next two are painted with hot orange and the last ones with electric blue. As well as the werewolves, the skeletons have these little skirts that I don't know the name of and I paint them with leather brown. All the quivers are painted with gold grey. I used chain silver on the tip of the arrows and the metal bracelets on the arms. I covered the whole figure with sepia wash except the quiver for which I used black wash. Using bone white I brushed, obviously, the bone parts. And here they are, the very fast and easy painted skeletons. My client requested all wizards to look different, so I used different colors and created a rainbow. The first wizard is painted with random tan, the next wizard is painted with orange fire. I use the lighter shades straight from the bottle and do not dilute them at all so they can have better coverage. These colors came pretty thin from the manufacturer and they are conveniently sprayed using the airbrush and 20 psi pressure. The rest of the wizards are painted with bloody red, magic blue, aliens purple and sorby grey. With dark flesh tone I started to create the shadows on the lighter painted wizards. Then, using Hull Red, I painted the red shadows. In this case, I have diluted the color 1 to 1 mix and the airbrush pressure is at 20 psi. As we continue, I used Imperial Blue on the blue and the purple wizards. I used Black to create the shadows on the last wizard. Now it's time to create highlights. We start with Moon Yellow. Sun Yellow. Hot Orange. Electric blue Alien purple
and Stonewall Gray. The faces and the hands are painted with elf skin tone. Shoes and stuffs are painted with pisty brown. I use the same colors on these cute moustaches too. We dry brush the skulls, of course, with bone white. I applied sepia wash on the skin parts. I also applied sepia wash on the cloaks of the wizards that are painting with lighter colors. On the rest of the wizards, I used the same wash as their colors. The metal part of the staff is painted with polished gold. Using a very thin and long brush, I applied dead white for their eyes. Finally, with black, I created the pupils and painted their bases. That was it. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. You can follow me on the social media, you can leave a comment and you can subscribe to my channel. So thank you for watching and I hope to see you again when the next video is ready. Bye!